You might have said, okay, fine and dandy, Joe, how did you know there was a stud here? And even once you do find a stud here, how do you know where the other studs are? Well, you can just knock on the wall, and if it, and if it sounds hollow, like that, you know there's no stud there. Now listen, hear that high-pitched noise, and you'll feel that it's, it's more dense right there. So I know there's a stud right in there, hollow another stud right there and and you should measure between them generally they lay out walls every 16 inches so if I find the center of this stud and measure over 16 inches and start doing this business it should be right in there see somebody had patched from before no stud there's a stud there now it's hollow There's a stud right there. They probably missed it right in there. Okay, and I'll, I'm gonna probe around. See, I know there's one right there. Nothing there. The other one is over here, not there. There was a plastic anchor in that one. See, so it's pretty easy to do that. And then you can probe around with a little nail or a scratch off. Sometimes I'll, I'll use something like this poke in there see there's nothing in there and I can I can go both directions or something and feel so you know that it's li listen to that I see it's right there and so they missed it just a little bit and they weren't really trying to hit the studs well, I'm gonna try to catch some of the studs that's a that's a quick and dirty on how to find your studs if you want to put your brackets on the studs now now granted when you put this up, does it have to be on a stud? No, it can be just on sheetrock because the theory is all the weight's gonna be right there as it's pushing down and then it's angling, all the weight is being transferred to this point right here. For this to push into the wall, you'd have to have this whole section, this whole section of bracket from here over, all of that push right into the sheetrock and chances are that's not going to happen. Okay, but if you're right on top of a stud, you know there's no way it's ever going to flex. I mean, this, the, the sheetrock could bow from stud to stud if you have too much weight there, and your shelf could be kind of wobbly or, or something. But chances are it's not going to go through the wall. Okay, so you can make the choice on that whether you put those on studs or not. Now before I put those brackets up, I've got a decision to make. I know all the clothes are going to be down at the bottom. And here's, as you come in, it's going to be right here. So most of the heavy stuff, my guess, is going to be along this rail here. So what I want to do is I want to take a little bit of extra time to find the studs. And I know there's a stud right about here. And I'm going to measure across and make a determination of, I think I'm going to put three brackets here and I'm going to try to find and see where the studs are because this is where most of the weight is and I'd rather do that than just put them in sheetrock since I have an option okay and I also look at all my stuff if I didn't have anything else to go with except just for this and if I didn't want to have to go to the store and stuff I would look and see see these are long screws that go into wood studs okay so I got I got five of those and then I've got, no, I know I have nine brackets, okay? So then maybe the last four, I'll use four screws. And I picked out the, the, the little brackets, the little uh, plastic anchors. See, these are bad plastic anchors. And I found these. And I'll have to see which ones are the best ones that I can use for the other ones. Or I can use the pins, okay? I can use a pin. Actually... I can't really use a pin. Okay, here, here you go. See this one here? This is for your plastic, or this is for uh, anchoring this. I could use that one. If I use that, I'm gonna have to use a nail. See, th these are for the shelves. Remember two different types of shelf brackets? One's with the clip at the top, one without. Okay, and see, here, here's something else. See this? Some have the, the anchor in there like that and then you would put a nail in it and then it would pop out 
these didn't have that, did they? So then, then they ran the little plastic anchors and the screws, okay? So you pop the anchor into the wall first, you hold the bracket up there, and you screw it in, okay? So there's all kinds of different ways to do certain things. Look at the store. Make up your mind and do it. That's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.